And here is the Writer's Almanac for Friday, August the 9th, 2019. It's the birthday of the mystery writer Jonathan Kellerman, 1949, in New York City. He was a professional psychologist before he created the forensic psychologist Alex Delaware in 28 of his mysteries. Kellerman said it took 13 years of typing away in an unheated garage from 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. until his first novel came out, 1985, When the Bow Breaks. It became a bestseller and a made-for-television movie. Jonathan Kellerman, who said all good fiction involves an element of mystery, crime novels are extreme events, matters of life and death, to catalyze the story. That kind of intensity appeals to me. And it was on this day in 1854, Henry David Thoreau published Walden, or Life in the Woods. It took five years to sell off the first edition of 2,000 copies. It was on this day, 1974, Richard Nixon officially resigned from the presidency, 1135 in the morning, and Gerald Ford took the oath of office. It's the birthday of the woman who created Mary Poppins, Pamela Lyndon Travers, P.L. Travers, born Queensland, Australia, 1899, created the British nanny who appears at a household in a high wind and flies floats away when the wind changes. It's the birthday of Isaac Walton, Stafford, England, 1593, famous in his time as the biographer of George Herbert and John Donne and many others, and also author of a book which has remained in print for more than 350 years, The Complete Angler, or The Contemplative Man's Recreation, all about fishing, tips for fishing, anecdotes and instructions and poems and commentary about what makes fishing so special. And it's the birthday of the poet Philip Larkin, born Coventry, England, 1922. Father was a city treasurer, Nazi enthusiast, mother an anxious woman. Boy grew up with poor eyesight and a stammer, and he sought refuge in books. Went off to Oxford, studied literature, wanted to write fiction, came out with his first collection of poetry not until 1945 called The North Ship wrote two novels after that, spent more than 30 years as a librarian at the University of Hull, private man, rode a bike to work five days a week, published only four short volumes of poetry in his lifetime, fewer than 100 pages, never married, lived alone, was known as a curmudgeonly glum person, never gave readings of his poems, and yet he became one of the most popular poets in Great Britain. Philip Larkin said, I think writing about unhappiness is probably the source of my popularity, if I have any. After all, most people are unhappy, don't you think? Deprivation is for me what daffodils were for Wordsworth. Here's a poem for today by Connie Wanick. Ten Commandments. After centuries of negotiation in the manner of writer and editor, God himself chose the stone and font. How many copies? asked Mrs. God patiently. I was thinking a thousand, God answered, sharpening his chisels. At least for the first edition, some folks may need to share. Mrs. God left him to it. The sound of iron against rock grew faint. She was shaping something milder, a long, serious period of rain across the outback, where such a gift meant tears of gratitude. Meanwhile, God began to tire. The commandments, formed letter by letter, seemed wordy, even after he'd eliminated most of the footnotes. His palms had blistered without the gloves he always misplaced. Thou shalt not lie, he mused, or is it lay? She would know, if only she were here. 
Ten Commandments, a poem by Connie Wannick from Consider the Lilies, the Mrs. God poems, published by Will of the Wisp Books and used by permission here on The Writer's Almanac. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch. <laughs>